good morning. So, want to address two things in this video. Uh, this is a 2014 electric drive smart. <clears throat> uh, not a lot of videos out there about the electric. So I wanted to show you how to get into the 12 volt battery, which can drain and does need to be replaced occasionally. And also if your heater stops working, um, there's some little welds inside the heater element that need to be addressed or re-welded, re-soldered. Re anyway, they say first get under here, driver's side, see? <clears throat> fuse box right there that orange thing there's a little plug here that you pull out and somebody might know if you do put it in the comments maybe you need to pull that too it's kind of weird because this thing just has a little thing in it I don't even know what that is that is weird it doesn't even really go it just goes right over that so Maybe you gotta pull that whole thing. Anyway, that disconnects the main power, which I think can be up to, I don't know if it can be up to 400 volts or not. I thought it was 120, but this thing over here, I thought it said 400 volt max. So maybe that's just nominal. Anyway, come around to this side. <clears throat> pull up the carpet. There's your 12 volt battery. See that? And right here is the heater element that stops working because the welds or the, the soldering joints inside get a little hot. There's like six of them. They're pretty easy to get to once you take off this cover. Three little uh, Torx head. Sorry, everything's kind of dirty in here. I use this to work in or run around a lot. Anyway, the one two, one over here. Uh, this is the high voltage lead, which I put some tape on. You basically, I think it's disconnected. Even if not, I'll be careful. But basically you push down on these two things. Right, where are they? Yeah, right there. See how that lifts up like that? There's one on the top, one on the bottom. And you slide straight out off of this. This one has a little lock right here, a little gray lock get a flathead screwdriver right in there and pop it and then push it and pop it off i already unscrewed those three it's a whole element look at this <clears throat> there it is apparently they're pretty good they last it's in good shape it's not all burn up but inside here there's uh i'm gonna take all those little screws off and then let me know if you want to see a picture of the inside solder joints that need to be fixed hope this helps someone out there i know i searched a lot and couldn't find anything so trying to help you out a little bit have a great week um, don't forget to say your prayers and be grateful and try to be kind to those around you much as possible. Have a great day. Bye.